thank you once again for joining us today at matoka tv studio all right in the clip you're about to watch with me right now the god servant apostle arome osai unveils another secret on how you can attract the presence of god in the place of your prayer all right do wait to listen to this particular clip as you listen to it may god almighty bless you amen god was looking for an opportunity to bless the people of Israel, but he could not because they were contrary to his divine order. And uh, because they were contrary to his divine order, a God that was willing to bless them had to kill a few of them. And part of the reason why he was compelled to kill a few of them was because they were violating his laid down laws as it has to do with the transportation of the ark. Some attempted to come look what was in the ark, and that was a violation according to scripture. His intention was not to kill, but the violation that came warranted killing. It was when the ark eventually found its place in the house of Obededom that God began could, 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 could manifest what he had in mind. So it was obvious that there was something that Obededon knew that made him find favor in the sight of God. Because the Bible says that God is not a respecter of persons. He's a respecter of principles, not a respecter of persons. So Moses was saying, I, I know what I've enjoyed in, uh, by walking in your favor. I know what I've contacted by walking in the light, under the light of your countenance, I know what I have touched by standing on the same secretary of the rhythm of your righteousness. I know what I have encountered. So the reason for which I press for more knowledge is because I want to stay perpetually in your favor. If you want to stay perpetually in the favor of God, and I know you want to. I know you want to stay perpetually. You must be in the business of praying that God will administer spiritual knowledge to you. And the Bible says, and Jesus said unto his disciples that believed on him. All right? So they were... They were believers. So if you continue in my word, then shall ye be my disciples. No, Jesus said unto the Jews that believed on him. They were Jews, but they believed on him, so they were believers. He says, if you continue in my word, then shall you be my disciples indeed. You become chattered disciples. Disciples that are not just learning to know, but they are learning to live. You become chattered. Then shall you be my disciples indeed. And when you become shattered disciples, you become eligible to spiritual knowledge. The gateway of spiritual knowledge is open to you. You now know the truth. And the truth will do what? No, it, it will not set free. It makes free. It makes free. There's a difference between making free and setting free. It's only those that are chattered disciples that are eager to learn of the ways of God that get to be ushered into the reality of spiritual knowledge. It is spiritual knowledge, the application of spiritual knowledge that puts us perpetually in the favor view of God. So the second prayer point that Moses prayed was... What? Can you see it on the board? Huh? You can't see. Uh, okay. We, we will stop this sermon here. We'll stop it. Show me now thy way that I may no D. Is 
The, the knowledge of God, as presented by Moses here, is something that is intrinsically related to the knowledge of the ways of God. It will be interesting to know that the ways of God are different from the ways of men. The ways of God is what we call the divine order. There is a way God prospers people. It's not the way men prosper people. There's a way God reveals something that is in your destiny. It's not the way men do it. And what God wants to do in your relating with him is that he wants you to begin to operate by his ways, not by human ways. A man that is operating by his ways is going to perpetually stand under the shadow of his favor. So you will see, and God's presence only accompanies those that have found favor in his sight. So we can also say that God's presence only accompanies those that know his way. I was in a time of prayer and fasting. And a friend of mine visited my house. Those, in Makoti, those days when we had not just started this ministry, I was doing one year of prayer and fasting. So a friend of mine came and barged into my prayer time and said, there is a prophet in Makoti that we should go and sit under his ministry. And he pestered me so much, and I knew that I would not be delivered from his hand except to accompany him to the place. So we went for the meeting. And I wanted to sit at the back, just enjoy the atmosphere if there is any. And they entered into church politics and all of that and brought me, and exposed me, put me in the front seat and all those kind of things that make you miss God if, 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 if God is present. So, oh, the first thing I noticed was that the presence of God was not in the place. And I know the meaning of that. This man preaching doesn't know his ways. So, I, 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 I wasn't expecting anything thereafter. Because the proof that you, you know the ways of God, the proof that you are a carrier of the favor of God, is that his presence will accompany you. Don't worry. When we finish this talk, we will do other things, and then his presence will come here. And I don't say that boastfully, but if it sounds like a boast, the Lord will help me. But you know what? I know him. Is that a boast? Yeah, I know him. The proof of what I have with him in secret will show up in the currency of his presence here. So I sat in the front and I was trying to find God. I, you know, I launched the search machine. Because the Bible says the spirit of God that searches all things. And the search instrument of the Holy Ghost is deeper and wider and stronger than Google. So I launched my personal search facility that was powered by the Holy Ghost in my spirit to look for God if any molecule of God was in the arena. And unfortunately, when the search results came back, it, it, was, it, was, it was nil. I said, all right. Okay, let us wait and hear the prophecies that will come from this prophet under this atmosphere. Because... <laughs> God was not present. You know, God, if you have any form of intimacy with him, if you have any form of intercourse with him in the closet, he will never deny you in the open. Never. If there's anything you have with him, he will, he will come and proclaim it in the open place. He doesn't want his intimates to be without his presence. He doesn't want his intimates to be without 
any means of confirming the fact that they have been with him. So he, he's so loyal, so faithful. Jesus. And when we searched the place, there was no molecule of God's presence available. So, and if I were that preacher, I would have just gone to the scriptures. I would not even try to prophesy. I would just teach the Bible, and then everybody would be blessed. So, but because they called him prophet, he wanted to do prophetic things. That, I was brought into that mess that day. Jesus Christ. I was doing well in my closet. It was my friend that came to, oh my God, I was brought into that mess. Someone was trying in the flesh to be spiritual and there was no molecule of the presence of God in that place. Gave a word of knowledge that was wrong. Ah! And you know what? I was forced to be sitting in the front. I would have been able to handle the, the, the what's the word for it? The inconsistency. I would have been able to handle it if I was in the crowd. We just, but I was there. Everything was at my face. The man moved and gave a word, and the person said, "No." Now, this my friend that labored to bring me to the place. By the time all the things happened, happened, he did not bother escorting me back. He just. That's the kind of thing that happens when God does not accompany. <laughs> Moses knew all those things. He said, if you will not come with us, we will not go. All right. Uh, thank you once again for your time in this particular clip. And I hope um, you are really blessed. All right. Um, if it happens today, it's your first day of coming across our channel and do us a favor to hit that subscription button and subscribe and turn on your notification so that you will not miss any of our daily upload at Motoka TV studio. All right. Thank you so much and stay tuned. May God Almighty bless and keep you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Bye.